So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab and it is very easy lab so first of all click on start lab and if you're completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now once you click on start lab you have to just open the console incognito window and then we'll just initiate basically here there will be credentials so you have to just enter it and then just continue so just let me show you how you have to complete this lab just open it in incognito window now here basically here you can see the username and pass is here you have to just enter it one by one so just paste over here then click on next now similarly with the pass just paste it and then click on next now here you have to just click on i understand just scroll down and click on i understand after that you have to just agree to the terms and service also so just scroll down again come down here and just accept the terms and service now just wait for some time and here basically you have to just click on setup okay get setup just click on it just click on get setup and then click on verify and a new page will open basically here you have to just click on get started and the most important thing is that you have to make sure that you have check selected this checkbox okay otherwise you won't be able to complete this lab now again click on this checkbox and confirm it now wait for a few seconds the domain will be ready within few seconds and once it's ready you have to close it and then just reload the browser window now please pay attention to each and every step now because if you miss a single step you won't be able to complete the lab now click on this hamburger again now just click on the organizational unit now just click on create organizational unit and for the name come back to the lab instruction task number one scroll down here we have to create two organizational unit one is teachers another is students so just type teacher and then just click on create now the next one is student again just click on create organizational unit and paste as students make sure there is no any extra space or dot and then just create it now once you see all these two are created next step is that we have to add new users so just click on add new users like this you can write any name make sure the name is at least bigger or at least contain some characters so here we have to add two users okay and if you are unable to see the primary email in that case you have to click on anywhere else okay like you can let me show you for the second user you have to just type anything and just typing student to make it easier now just click on anywhere like this and then you'll be able to see the primary email now just click on add new user now just turn it we are done with this particular task now we have to just move the ous basically just change the organizational unit and create structures so you can check the score for task number one now for the task number two we have to just change the okay we have to just change the organizational unit to teachers and users now just wait for some time and refresh the browser until you see both the users available over here so now just click on the first one more option change organizational unit teachers continue change once you have done all these things then again select students change organizational units and then students continue and then just change it so once you have changed all these things just refresh the browser window here you can see in teachers section it has been added but we need to wait for this to get added in the student section also so basically we have added two users and changed their organizational units one to student and one to teacher now wait for it to get assigned carefully so finally it is done now come back to the lab instruction and check the score if you want now from here we have to just open the apps and from here just select google meet okay let's check the score for this particular task if you are unable to get the score instantly you need to wait for at least 15 to 20 seconds sometimes up to one minute to the get basically to for the score to get updated now we are in the task number two we have to just verify that the google meet is turned on for everyone or not so here i will verify it you need to come back to the lab instructions and here you can see we have to just check the toggle section now just select over here and just check it whether it's on or not if it is off just click on on and just save it now click on the student section and teacher section all these are on now come over here and here we have to verify basically just view the permissions okay whether the permission is enabled or not so let's view it after that we have to just create a meet and a classroom all these things are very easy 
now just come over here and here you can see meet settings okay yes you can see meet video settings is here they have mentioned that we have to just view the meet video settings just click on this and from here users you can type any users i am typing the first user which i have created just select it and here you can verify all the permissions are present what kind of permissions what kind of roles are present like this you can just view it now the next step is that we have to just turn off recording basically turn off recording for the peoples now come back again here you can see the meet is here i will recommend just come back here and click on the home option and then from the navigation menu and from here just you go to the app section and then here you can see there is google meet just click on it and wait for some time and here in the meet video settings just click on the meet video settings and then recordings okay now here just select the students okay just select the students and come back here in the recording section click on this pencil icon now here you can see they have asked us to uncheck the let people record their meetings and then click on override it will take few seconds and then you will be able to complete this lab now if you are facing issues like after 5 minutes or 4 minutes even it is not updating do check the video carefully maybe you have made some mistake and if you are still facing this kind of issue then i will recommend restart the lab because sometimes due to glitches the lab does not work now here we have to create a classroom for the teacher for that we need the username and password i recommend you come over here and just from here go to the user section and the user which we have assigned for the basically teacher role okay now from here you can see just open the classroom and here we have to sign in using different username the teacher username so just click on switch account like this and then here use another account now come back over here here you can see this is the teacher account which you have assigned okay you have to just copy this email the teacher ou which we have assigned that will be used as a repeat now you have to just reset the password because we haven't saved the password so just copy it and then just set it like this and click on next now once it is done just click on i understand i repeat you have to use the username which is assigned to the teacher organizational unit you must have remove remember to move the normal user to teacher like in the task number one or two now just select pick your role i am a teacher and then we have to just create a class okay now if you are unable to see i am a teacher then you have to just refresh the browser window now for the class name they have mentioned history so just name it carefully make sure there is no any extra space full stop etc now all these things are done just click on create it will take few seconds and after that here you can see in meet section click on generate link and just save it now here what will happen you won't get the score instantly so here you can see we did not get the score instantly maybe you can get also there is depending on the lab resources and how it performs but i'll recommend wait for at least two to three minutes and then you'll be able to get the score without any issue and if you want to complete other skill badges pre-assessment skill badges and lab free courses if you are a participant of the arcade facilitator program so just check the description box of this video that's all about this video now just keep waiting and just hitting check my progress bar and if you are enable want to enable this check my progress bar also that is also shared in the description box of this video now just wait and just try to check the score and once it's done we'll be done with the lab guys i'll recommend follow step by step guide because it will help you to learn it also so it will take few seconds finally we are done with the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel if you are unable to see the score on this check my progress bar you can just come back here and just go to that particular task and check the score